Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! So it appears that we are in the doll factory belonging to Catherine's dad, except this part of it has been turned into a prison. Something to do with Stockholm Syndrome because her dad is... Well, her, her whole family is a Stockholm family, as in the name. And this prison apparently has some murderous people in it, or at least had. They're kind of dead now. So we need to kind of figure out why we are here, how to get out of here, and also why Catherine is stitched up like a doll. Is this a thing? Nope, not a thing. What's down this way? The structure of this door seems frail. Mm, the door won't budge. Okay, leave it be for the moment. What is this anyway? Prison room H, so that would be the room belonging to Sebastian. Oh, hi, right back! Welcome to the stream! Nice to finally some see somebody here. Elevator. This is just not possible. How can those things be alive? And why are they attacking us? What did I do to deserve this? Oh yeah, we also saw a couple dolls running around. Prison room E. This'll be Eliza's room. I don't know that I really accomplished anything in... Fleur's room, I think it was. But it's saving anyway. The smell of alcohol is unbearable. More, more alcoholic drinks. Oh, another playing card symbol. I'm betting these are going to be important. A messy bed. Bottles of medication with the label selective serotonin rip. Teake inhibitors? Okay, they're, they're not all Stockholm Syndrome people. They're just different syndromes. Oh, something is under the bottle. Okay, it's definitely worth checking every bottle then. I still feel them. I still, still feel the guilt, the sorrow, the regrets. I must wash those feelings away. Granted, this bottle was Chloe. I couldn't tell it was a bottle at first. A messy bed. A playing card. The two of spades. The color of this alcohol bottle seems unusual. That dripping sound. What about it? Is something up there? Oh! This can't be real. I want to return home. My hands are stained with the blood of the one that I left to die. I could do nothing to stop it. I feel them. I feel them all. I let everyone perish before my eyes. I don't want to go near that. So for those of you who are new here, up there in the upper right is Catherine's heart rate. She's got some illness, I assume Stockholm sy Syndrome? In which, if she gets too scared and her heart rate reaches 100%, it's game over. She's dead. Now, we do have some pills that can lower her heart rate. But we also have the option of um, loading our last save. 
it's cheap, but I don't know how many of these pills there are in this game. Not to mention, that was a big scare right there. We were over 50%. So, going to ignore that bottle. I assume we don't need to investigate it for any reason. Let's head in here now. An elevator! Maybe it's still operational. Don't get your hopes up. A button for the first floor of the factory! Hmm. The button won't respond without a password? Well, that's dumb. Who, d who designs an elevator button like that? Don't step in blood because stepping in blood increases heart rate. Well, that only leaves one option then. That was close! No, oh, the heart rate went back up above 50. But did we need to do this? A giant boulder blocks the path. Oh, we can reach that switch. Now I thought this rubble here was going to prevent me from reaching it. Alright. A switch. I wonder what it does. Ah! I mean, I guess that's kind of handy. Does, does it affect up here as well? No, no, we were already able to go up here before. Okay, what advantage does that shortcut have? Well, I can tell you right now, going up the steps results in a scary growl, so we're going to avoid that. Saving again. So anytime I do anything that increases heart rate, and I'm keeping it, I'm going to save on a separate file. Oop, didn't actually want to go back in there. So where do we go from here then? You know, I haven't investigated the uh, door that's over here. Oh, and the warden's room. I don't think I went into the warden's room. So, double check this. The gate requires a key to unlock. Mm -mm. I don't think that will work. Probably not. Okay, warden's room. Another's full of thread. So that's two of them that we have. Wonder what they're for. A deck of cards. It seems to be missing some cards. Which we've been finding lying around. A plain bid, but it serves its purpose. Another deck of cards. Locker won't budge. There's a doll here. Just an ordinary doll. Watch it come to life or something. Work has been slow these days. I spent my time staring at the unmoving screen day by day. Fortunately, I have these decks of cards to keep me busy. I'm kind of curious why you would need more than one. Aside from puzzle solving, because this is obviously going to be a puzzle right here. I returned from my lunch break and saw what was left of my co-workers' bodies on the floor. This is too much. Who in the world could have done such a thing? Maybe this is my imagination. Whatever it is, I can't bring myself to believe that any of this is real. In other words, you think you're going crazy. A 
deck of cards again. Okay. So I'm going to assume... That the suit is not important and we just want the number. So we want something minus something plus something times something equals 20? So what cars do we have th right now? Is this referring to the cars I have? Yes, what cars do we have right now? Ten of spades, nine of hearts, six of hearts, eight of diamonds, two of spades. Okay, just to make this easier on myself, what I'm going to do is write down the cards that I have. Ten, nine, eight, six, and two. I don't think there's any cards that I missed. And our goal here is to reach 20, I guess? So let's see here, 20 divided by 2, if I go backwards from the right. Then that would be 10. Right? Uh, 10 minus... No, I don't think that'll work. Okay, of these cars, what all goes into... 20. 10 goes into 20, and 2 goes into 20. The rest do not. So, assuming that I have all the cards, the last card will either be 10 or 2. Assuming it even works that way. You know, I have a calculator in front of me. Let's see what we, what we can do here. So let's say 10 plus, no, or no, wait, 10 minus 9 would be 1. Plus 8 would be 9. Times 2 would be 18. So I think I have the right idea for going along the lines of that. So let's say the last one is times two. And then the next to the last would be ten, because ten times two would be twenty. Right? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Get back to this and... Let's just place the cards down and see, like, the monitor is displaying something, I should check it out. Okay, that actually shows stuff, and I can see the card on the, okay, if I can actually visualize this, that will help. 9 minus 2 is 7. Now let's start with 9 minus 8 is 1. 1 plus what equals 10? 1 plus 9 equals 10. But we don't want that. Let's just... Let's just... Mm -mm. Wait, what? I'll take it, sure. <laughs> that doll just giggled and moved. Okay, let's take a look at this again. 9 minus 8 is 1, plus 2 would equal 3, though, wouldn't it? Am I, like, reading this wrong somehow? Am I not understanding what it was that I'm... 
I mean, obviously, 2 times 10 at the end is going to result in 20, which was my goal. But 9 minus 8 is not 2. I don't even know how I succeeded in that. How am I supposed to be reading this? 9 minus 8 is 1, plus 2 is 3, times 10 would be 30, right? Uh -uh, no, 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 no. We got the warden key. You giggled. What's up with you? Nothing strange about this doll. So you see. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna keep that one because I don't feel like trying to solve this puzzle again. So that went up by 30. Maybe I should just avoid looking at things that are not shiny. There's a thing that I missed. That's why that doesn't make any sense. Victory condition for the game of 21. Result of the player's cars is greater than the sum of the dealer's cars. The dealer had a 20. Total value of the player's cars must not exceed 21. Wait, didn't it though? All four card slots must be filled by the player. Player must abide by the order of operations with multiplication being applied before subtraction and addition. See, it's been a long time since I mathed. I forgot that that was a rule. Multiplication is applied first. Oi! How long was I stuck on that puzzle? Okay. Art rate went up, saving on a different slot. We got the warden key. Let's unlock it. These stairways were allowed to use. The footprints lead to the room on my right. Why did the screen fade out? Someone could be inside. Storage room. Warden room B. Oh gosh dang it. So, fades out because she is down the stairs. A giant boulder blocks the path. Can't push it. Well, we're obviously being told to go to in there. Well, let's go in there. Strange. I don't see anyone here. To be fair, you have no idea how old those footprints are. Nothing in there. I guess that's not a thing. I've had enough sleep for the time being. Oh, nice to see that bed had a different message. Dusty fireplace. Is that blood? That's blood. Don't step in it. Okay. What about this? 
Is this a thing right now? No? Is this a thing? No. Is this bed a thing? No. Is there something to the left? Well, it seems to me that there's nothing of interest in this room. Which means probably something is going to happen as soon as we leave the room. Because I'm pretty sure that I'm not expected to check out the splattered blood over there. Well, that is a thing that is happening. Uh, episode break. Let's go on an episode break. And when we come back, th that's happening. <laughs>